Ciao. Today we're going to be doing something super easy. We're going to be doing cloud bread. This stuff is super simple and only takes three ingredients and a few other bits and pieces for just flavouring. So let's crack on, get the ingredients in the bowl and see what we come up with. Nice. Right guys, so what are we going to need? We're going to need three large eggs and we want to split the whites from the yolks. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Really nifty little trick. We're also going to need the old Greek yogurt just there, a bit of psyllium husk, I'll put a link in the comments of how to get all of that, and a touch of salt for flavouring, this is optional, I think it's great. Right, so to split the eggs out, all we're going to do is we're going to get our eggs, we want to use large eggs for this if we can, crack it on the side of the bowl, and just pop the shell off like that, just pop the top off, and then tip the egg yolk between each shell, and it will separate the egg yolk from the egg white. So you put the egg white in that bowl there, egg yolk in that bowl, that goes over there. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to whiz these whites up until they're full of air. Um, and then we're going to plonk this stuff in there and mix it all up good. Right then, so we're getting the old whizzy whizzy air again. Put the old captain hook attachment back on it. Fosh like that. Throw it in there. Give it a whisk. And you want to whisk this until it's like a meringue mixture so you can see the peaks in it. With a hand whisk, it's going to take a bit of time. With an electric whisk, you're probably talking about four or five, three, three or four minutes to do. So the eggs are done. They're whipped up all nice and fluffy like clouds, hence the name cloud bread. Um, if you can do this, yeah, you know they're good. Um, if you've got egg on your head, then you know you need to do a little bit more. Right, so we're going to pop those to one side in a minute. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get 85 grams and we're going to throw it in there. So we're going to grab our spoon, throw this into our egg yolks, like so. And we want to get a teaspoon and I want to throw two teaspoons of psyllium husk inside my egg yolks. Now what this is going to do is going to help to give it an extra little bit of body, okay? We're going to have a pinch of salt in there and also a teaspoon of sweetener. Now these extra ingredients are optional, um, I just throw them in there because it adds an extra little bit of flavour but you can get away with just the three ingredients if you like. Right, next thing I want to do is just mix all these up together. And you want to mix it so there's no bits in there at all. It's lovely and smooth. The psyllium husk that helps to thicken it up a little bit. And there you have it. You should be left with a kind of mustard type colour. Right then, so a quick recap. We've got our eggs beaten up, we've got our whites beaten up, put some psyllium husk in there, some salt, some sugar, some nice, we're going to have a quick taste. Tastes nasty, because it's just egg yolks and sugar. So what we're going to do, is we're going to get the old silicon do do here, and we're not going to throw it all in at the same time, we're just going to pop a little bit, maybe half, into our egg whites. And what we want to do is we want to fold this in. If you mix it, we're going to beat all of the air out of the egg whites, and that's not what we want. Once that bit's folded in, get the rest of the mixture. And we're just going to fold that in. Now you want to keep on folding until the mixture is completely combined. Okay, fold it in to try and capture all that air inside the mixture. And that's what's going to give it a lovely fluffiness when it comes out of the oven. Hi right, guys, stick with me, okay? Next thing we're gonna need two pans covered in greaseproof paper. And what we wanna make, we wanna make six little circles on here, six cakes, okay? So just with a little serving spoon or a little, any old spoon will do. What you wanna do is just plonk it in like that. There you go. One, one, last little bit. There we go. So, Everything from now on is pretty much optional. I'll just add a little bit of cinnamon. Just for extra flavouring. 
Now I tried different kind of recipes with this and I find this one to pretty much be the best um, because it's really a flavour that I really enjoy. So olives, black olives, black olives are the most disgusting thing on the planet until you put them in bread and then they are amazing. Especially if you add a little bit of cheese on top as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice these up and I'll add one olive per bread or per um, eggy thing. I'm just going to slice them up and put them in there, okay? Right guys, so they just come out of the oven and they look absolutely brilliant. Um, I add a little bit of cheddar on the top, a little bit of garlic powder just to add an extra bit of flavour. But if you want to add a few chives on there, a bit of parsley on there, whatever you want, whatever feels good to you mate, whatever feels right. A bit of chilli would be proper cool on there as well. So yeah, so there we have it guys, a little bit of clay bread, absolutely stonking, super easy. Um, if you like what you've seen, then uh, whack the old button just there um, to see more and more cool stuff. Um, the old subscribe button there to see more and more stuff in the future. Don't forget to whack the old notification button to get notifications of my new stuff. So, cool guys, well thank you very much for looking in, in on me and uh, checking out my channel and I'll catch you next time.